A safety alert this morning. The numbers are staggering. More than 2,000 children ages 14 and under die each year from unintentional injuries at home. This morning, a reminder to parents about the dangerous things that may be lurking in your house. ABC 15's Hatzel Vela is live at a fire station in Mesa. Hatzel, what are some of the obvious things that parents can forget? There is a long list, but we're going to go over some of the big things. And joining me live, I have uh, Tracy Fate, who is a nurse. And uh, talk to us, Tracy. Take us through the house here uh, and show us what are some of the big problems, starting with this cord we see right here. Yeah, as we see with this cord on the floor here, we have to really worry about cords because kids can wrap them around their necks and strangle them. They can also bite on them, so we get electrical burns around the uh, mouth. So simple things that you can get to wind up the cords um, and get those cords put away so that kids are not getting injured by those cords. Other things that we see are electrical outlets themselves. They can get electrocuted by just sticking their fingers in there because we know kids love to chew on things, love to stick their fingers in things. So you want to just cover those outlets. And let's make our way around to some uh, some of the doors, which is obviously common things in homes. Right. You have to think of things like bathroom doors or closets that you want to keep closed. And there's simple things that you can put on them that when kids go to grab them, they can't open the doors because we do have kids drowning in toilets. So we have to be careful with that. When adults grab it, they can simply open it. So just keep in mind there's simple things that we can put on it to keep kids safe. And very cheap. Talk to us how much these three things um, cost. These three things that I bought and you get several of them cost me nine dollars. So simple. Thank you Tracy. Now we're going to move over to Chris Slater who's a captain with a uh, Mesa Fire Department. Talk to us about the ABC. Very simple things to remember. Well we've adopted the acronym ABCs because it's common for a uh, uh, everybody that recognize the adult supervision barriers and uh, classes that you can take. Um, unfortunately, some of the most devastating things that firefighters see are child-related injuries, and uh, it can be actually traumatic to the families, and uh, they may or may not recover from that. So, unfortunately, these are the easiest accidents to prevent. And uh, Tracy covered a lot of the barrier things that are, are cheap and effective. All right, Chris, Chris Slater with the Mesa Fire Department. At 6 o'clock, we're going to go over the not-so-obvious things that you can find that could be dangerous to your kids at home. For now, reporting live in Mesa, Hatzovella, ABC 15. Home and the many dangers it poses for your children. Each year, more than 2,000 kids die from unintentional injuries at home. ABC 15's Hatzel Vela is live at a fire station in Mesa. Hatzel, what are some of the not so obvious things parents tend to overlook? Several things we have to talk about, starting with the kitchen. And uh, joining me live, I have Tracy uh, uh, of the Carton Children's Hospital, or Medical Center rather. Why is this bad? This is very bad. We have to remember that kids are very curious and they want to look into everything. You have in your pot with the handle out, they can pull this down and burn themselves. So turn handles back or better off, put it on the back burners. Keep it out of the way. Let's so, move on to the cabinets. Cabinets. Cabinets and drawers are very dangerous. Try to keep locks on your cabinets or drawers. If we look underneath this, we see down there poison. Okay, kids will put everything in their mouth. They'll test everything. So putting locks on these so that they're childproof, so that the kids can't open them is very, very important. Now, one of the things we don't often talk about, and it does exist in your home, things that we overlook, is the exercise equipment. And talk about that. Yeah, exercise equipment can be very dangerous. We have to remember that it was never made for children. It's made for adults. And there's a lot of hazards with exercise equipment. So it should be kept in a locked room behind a locked door. It should not be allowed for kids to play with. Tracy, thank you so much. We're going to move on to Chris Slater of the Mesa Fire Department. Chris, this teaches us one thing, that parents have to be involved. And tell us about the story that uh, one of your firefighters just experienced recently. That's true. We at the Mesa Fire Department have adopted, again, the ABCs of child safety, which is uh, adult supervision barriers and courses that you can take. Uh, recently we've ran a couple calls where a child at football season swallowed a number off the jersey uh, that had been laundered and was peeling and it obstructed her airway. We were able to get that out but uh, parents need to be cautious of stuff laying around with Halloween coming up, the costumes and pieces as well. Uh, for more information on child barriers you can also contact the Mesa Fire Department, Cardin Children's Center or safekids.org. Alright, Chris Slater of the Mesa Fire Department. Some tips, things that are not obvious but are obviously still dangerous at home. For now, reporting live in Mesa, Hatzovella, ABC 15.